Hello everyone, my name is Sam Trun. I'm a project engineer here at Blue Oak Energy and I'd like to welcome you to another episode of Tech Talk Tuesday. Today we'd like to discuss method to mitigate corrosion of steel piles of ground mounted photovoltaic systems. The first method I'd like to speak of is galvanization. This method is typically done per ASTM A123 and entails hot dipping the steel piles into a molten bath of zinc which will yield approximately 4 mils of material on all surface of the piles. However, if uh, 4 mils is not sufficient to protect the steel piles over the life of the system, an additional 4 mils can be added by means of double dipping the steel piles. The second method is to provide a thicker section than is structurally required. More or less, this uh, method allows the steel piles to corrode over the life of the system and at the end of the shelf life of the system, theoretically, there should be enough section to resist any loads imposed by the tracker or the fixed, fixed tilt racking system. The third method is the coal tar epoxy or paint. This method is by far the most cost effective. However, there is a flaw um, during the driving process. The paint or the epoxy tends to chip off, which leads to uh, pitting corrosion or concentrated corrosion. An area, in areas where the epoxy or paint chips off. The fourth method is the uh, sacrificial anode. This method requires you to attach or electrically attach a um, magnesium strip or block to the steel piles um, and being that the magnesium strip or block is higher on the galvanic scale compared to the steel piles it will corrode before the steel piles will therefore protecting it. The last method is the impressed current system. This method requires you to uh, uh, provide an electric current through the steel piles or the anode um, and this additional uh, current and voltage interrupts the uh, galvanic reaction thus protecting the steel piles. Um, this method is very efficient however m for the most part uh, it's been known to be cost prohibitive and therefore not likely used in the field. Well, that's all I have for you folks. Um, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.